Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 62, which was released on September 5th and is the fifth browser update in 2018. There were a few changes in this new browser release, and I'll cover some of the key changes. First up, let's take a look at the changes in the new tab. Firefox displays content on the new tab, which includes a search bar, top sites, recommended by pocket, highlights, and snippets which are updates from Mozilla and Firefox. If you click this gear icon in the top right corner, it will redirect you to the Home tab under Firefox Preferences. And you can now display four rows of top sites, pocket stories, and highlights. You can also use these check boxes to control what displays on the new tab. Next up, Tracking Protection. If you go to the menu section in the top right corner, you will notice this new tracking protection option with a toggle button which is really handy. So for example, if you visit a website, here I am on Twitter, and if I click on the eye information icon, you will see tracking protection on with an option to disable it if you wish. You will also notice this new button to clear cookies and site data. There are a couple of minor updates in Firefox bookmarks. So firstly, when you bookmark a page, you will notice a new dialog box, which displays a preview thumbnail and favicon. Secondly, the description field for bookmarks has been removed. And finally, if you use Firefox Sync, which allows users to sync profile data across devices, you will now have an option to wipe your Firefox Sync data from that device, including other private data like cookies and cache. So these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 62. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the BrowserMark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox improved a bit compared to Firefox 61, but as you can see, Google Chrome 69 performed much better overall. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.